Yo, what's up guys, it's Flaxper here, and I've seen people asking on my videos, on other people's videos, on Reddit posts, basically everywhere. So exactly how do I make the death notices look so fancy, how do I make them stay up for the entire frag, and how do I only make one name appear in the kill feed? Well, today I'll show you. I'll show you how to manipulate the death notices. And for this, you'll need HLE and CSGO. This works for both GoTV as well as POV demos. So basically all types of demos. First of all, I'll go through how to set up HLE and how to get the in-game console. However, if you already have the console and know how to work with HLE, and you already have a working version of HLE, just skip to 2 minutes and 50 seconds. HLE can be downloaded from this website. Just click download and choose the most recent version. Put all these files in a folder preferably on your desktop so it's easy to access. Open that folder and launch HLE. Also, once the program tells you there's an update available, always make sure to update. Sometimes CSGO has updates which makes the HLE version incompatible with the CSGO version. This can cause HLE not to work properly and yeah, we don't want that, right? So just always make sure to update when you can. Click yes on check for updates automatically, click on tools, developer and then custom loader. Now you need to target the right files. The hook DLL will be in the same folder as the HLE program itself. In my case, this is on the desktop. For the program path, we will need to target the csgo.exe, which is in your Steam folder. Find your Steam folder and go to Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and here. You don't necessarily have to change anything in the command line, unless you really want to, of course. So all you have to do is click OK and CSGO will start. People have also asked me if this HLE program can get you backbanned, and to be honest, I've never heard anyone getting backbanned from using this program, but just to be sure, we still include the startup command dash insecure to make sure we're perfectly fine. What this command does is that it prevents us from joining back secured servers while having CSGO launched in HLE. I believe playing with CSGO running in HLE is the only risk of getting backbanned. Although I'm not completely sure about this, so someone please correct me on this one. In order for this to work, you'll also need to have the in-game console. And in order to enable the console, just right-click CSGO in Steam, click Properties, and click Set Launch Options. Type dash console and click OK. Next, go into the game settings and make sure the developer console is enabled. Go to the keyboard settings and scroll all the way down to set up a key to open up the console. Now you have the console. Shoo so let's move on. There are mainly three different commands we'll be using for this. These are debug1, block, exclamation mark id, space asterisk, cfg, notice lifetime, and then some type of value, and highlight id followed up by the id. Trust me, even though this might look a bit complicated, it really isn't. I'll demonstrate for you guys. Go into your saved demos, or just click shift plus f2 to open up the demo UI. Choose your demo and load it up. But before we do anything, we need the ID of the player. To get the ID, we type merv underscore death message debug1 into the console. Now just play through the action and wait until he kills someone. Open up the console and here's your ID. So now we can use all the other commands as well. We start with merv underscore death message block exclamation mark ID. And in my case, this is 116 space asterisk. This is going to prevent any other death notices apart from this ID to pop up in the kill feed. We move on to merv underscore death message cfg notice lifetime. And the value we put after this command will decide for how long the death notices will stay visible. It all comes down to how long the whole frag is. For example, a spray down like this wouldn't really need such a high value since the whole enemy team dies within a couple of seconds, but if you're planning on recording a frag where the kills are very drawn out and it takes a while for the player to kill them all, you might need a higher value. In this case, I'll put in the value 10. This means the death notices will stay up for 10 seconds before they disappear. The last command is pretty optional. All it does is adding sort of an outline to the death notices, making them a bit easier to see, like in POV demos. However, I really do like the look of it, so I'll just use it. So you type merv underscore death message highlight ID, and then your ID, in my case this is 116, and yeah, there you go guys, everything is done. Now just rewind the demo and play the action again. If you need help with recording the video, you might want to check out my recording tutorials here. And if it's not working at all, just go back into the console and make sure you've typed all the commands correctly. 
And believe it or not, people also tend to forget to launch CSGO through HLE, so just double check you've done exactly that. You need to launch CSGO with HLE if you actually want this to work. When you've recorded the video and want to move on to the next frag, open up the console and type merv underscore death message block clear. Now the death notices will show for every player again and you can find the next ID you need. Just simply repeat the process we did again. Alright guys, so that was pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something. As usual, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Also, check out the description for more information. There you'll find my Facebook page, Twitter, Twitch channel, as well as my movie making config which is completely free to download. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.